We're talking about the astronomical evidence that shows that God brought the universe into existence at a very specific moment in time. We're also talking about how He has finally tuned the laws of nature and everything around us so that we could have life here on earth. And now we're going to talk about the sun, we're going to talk about the stars and the necessity they have so that we could live here on planet earth. And let's go to the movie clip right away. And this talks about our unique sun. Further out from Alpha Centauri, but still within our Milky Way galaxy, we also encounter hundreds of gas and dust clouds called nebulae. Their strikingly beautiful colors are created as the nebulae are ionized. Radiation from nearby large stars supercharges the electrons and sends them flying away from their atoms and molecules. As electrons escape from hydrogen atoms, they produce a red glow. As they leave oxygen atoms, they produce a blue-green glow. Gaseous nebulae may be described as stellar maternity wards. Our galaxy, called the Milky Way, is still giving birth to new stars. Our own sun is considered a late-born star, and as you'll see, life depends on that critical timing. Stars form within nebulae much the same way raindrops form within Earth's clouds. Gravity is a key factor gas and dust particles begin to pull together under gravity's influence. But as they do, more molecules collide, producing heat. As the particles continue coalescing, more and more heat results, especially at the core of that condensation. Eventually, the core becomes hot enough to ignite nuclear burning. At this ignition point, a new star is born. Since our sun also went through this type of birth process, most scientists classified it as an ordinary star. But several recent discoveries have caused astronomers to reconsider this assumption. Evidently, our sun is very rare indeed. Most stars are either too small or too big, too young or too old, contain too many metals or not enough metals. Our sun's radiation and its precise location in our galaxy are all critical factors for life.